Hi guys, so my name is Moe Bebe. A couple of you know me as a radio goddess. A couple of you just know me as, yeah, that girl that's just always trying to get her hands into one thing or another. Well, I have finally decided to actually kickstart my vlog and it's going to be about me. Me, me, me. And all the stuff that I get up to. Hope you like it. You would have noticed that I went to the States for quite some time and then I returned and it was just so exciting that as soon as I came back I literally got into work um, I was given the opportunity of hosting LAX's listening party and yo it was so lit because I hadn't seen you know so many Nigerians in one room in such a long time so I was really really like a bit antsy and whatnot but nonetheless once I got on stage he's made me feel so comfortable it was my first time ever working with him and yeah we had such a blast now what was so interesting was when I obviously had the opportunity of getting or oh, having a little bit of a sit down with LAX and asking him some very interesting questions. It was really good, the, you know, the people that were there, the music, obviously, LAX's album is an album that you guys should definitely go out and cop. It is really, really dope. And yeah, it was just a really, really great way to, you know, be welcomed back to Lagos and back to the hustle. town there was no way that I was going to you know miss out on the opportunity of actually interviewing one of the biggest or at least uh, yeah one of the biggest grime artists um, in the UK right about now so I was like okay thank you so much Spinall for hooking that up um, I got into the studio um, waited for him to come in and yeah he showed up um, I asked him <laughs> a really interesting question which you always have to ask people from Ghana because this long ending beef between Ghana Jolov, Niger Jolov, <sighs> I don't think it's ever going to end. So I obviously asked him which he prefers and guess what? He said Niger Jolov. Who would have ever thunk it if that's a word? <laughs> my thing like I don't know it just gives me this nice feeling when I get to sit down with someone and just ask them questions and obviously you know me not minding my business always trying to get to the personal questions but it's been such a long time coming um, that I've actually had SDC in the radio studio with me yes I have interviewed them um, in the past on TV but I haven't actually had the opportunity of interviewing them on radio so when this opportunity came I was really excited they were obviously pushing their um, recently released album Palm Wine Music 2 which is equally so legit it's no wonder they call them the generals of the Otter movement honestly like they lived up to expectation on that album so yeah it was nice it was my first interview um, that I had back to work from my holiday and um, I love SDC because as I said I've known them for quite some time I'm a little bit closer to tech well, I call him Wally, but because that's actually the government name. But yeah, I'm a little bit closer to tech than Ghost. But um, um, I legit did this thing, which was so crazy. On the day that I interviewed SDC, um, it was actually Tech's birthday. So I invited myself. <laughs> <laughs> invited myself to his birthday party. I kind of felt bad for him, but yo, I'm like part of the family, so I don't think it was that bad. But yeah, it was really, really nice going to his birthday party, wishing him a happy birthday, um, spending some, you know, nice time um, or quality time with him and his friends and family who are obviously out there. And like I said, the interview was really, really lit. So that was what came out from the SDC interview and also um, Tech's birthday party.
interesting guys that this year Halloween literally had people dressing up in actual costumes it's a big deal out here in Nigeria because trust me they'll say yo come to a pool party and people are wearing long dresses no one's wearing a bikini like that's just how Lagosians are <laughs> so I just really honestly thought that you know what I don't care I'm gonna actually dress up this year and um, luckily I had the opportunity of um, attending um, our sister station that's our fashion fashion channel yes spice for Sound City and Sound City is the music one, yeah, you get it. Either way, I had the opportunity of attending um, their own like Halloween party that took place um, in this really, really nice location, by the way. And I got to dress up as Little Red Riding Hood. Obviously, I put a little bit of sexiness into that because that's what I do. <laughs> but yeah, it was really fun. I took it all the way to the extreme because I actually went out and got bread rolls, yeah? I had a big bad wolf, and um, interestingly, I also had another <laughs> accomplice, let me say, but I don't even know how they actually meet in the cartoon world. But either way, yes, we did in fact actually have a Captain Jack Narrow. <laughs> That's my stylist, by the way. <laughs> he dressed up as Jack Sparrow, but uh, it was a little bit of a hit or, hit or miss, let me say. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I won best dress, shout out to Spice. Also, it was really, really cool, obviously, you know, hanging out with my friends, the music was good, people that I did say made such a huge effort. Um, my really good friend Valerie was actually the host of the night, so she dressed up as Catwoman. I also had my friend Amiola in the mix, um, obviously, me, Jack Narrow. <laughs> <laughs> and a whole bunch of other really really awesome stuff so it was all like a perfect mix and I had such a good time so I had to go back to interviewing you know but you know I don't want you guys to just constantly think that's all I do on radio I actually host like a full-on proper music show but sometimes I get to interview some of your favorite 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 music stars and also just general celebrities so Mr. Easy um, you know is an artist that is equally controversial but so gifted and I was extremely excited when um, you know he decided to actually come onto my show right before he dropped his album yes his second album um lagos to london um i was like the first oap um, i actually probably think the only oap at least in nigeria that um you know was able to actually you know ask him a couple of questions just before the premiere of his album um it, it, it was all it well or should i just say it's always so much fun um interviewing easy this is his third time he keeps on coming back like i always say because as he said it's nothing but love and you know we always have a really really good conversations i tried my best to get out some juicy, juicy gossip about him and his girlfriend, but he's been taught well. He's been taught well. He's been taught very well how to evade those questions. But either way, it was a really good interview. And yeah, I'm sure the whole of Africa or the world, whoever gets to watch it or listen to it, is absolutely going to love it equally as well. Well, guys, um, I guess that's it for me for now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for, you know, joining me on my first vlog. I'm hoping that, you know, you obviously will always be a part of this journey, you know, to the time when I become that major, major mogul, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm hoping that you enjoyed, you know, all the stuff that I got my hands into. I'm so sure, guys, that the next episode, the next vlog is going to be even more personal, going to be even more interesting. So I really hope you guys love it, and or at least you loved it. So yeah, catch you next time.